What is automation? That is the question. Today, technology is everywhere, in the home as well as in the workplace. In fact, the majority of things we use have a remote control function of some kind. The only problem is that it can be quite daunting the amount of different buttons that need to be pressed in order to get the desired functions from our devices, let alone finding the right remote control for the job. The CPU or central processing unit is a great invention. It's a place for all our tasks to meet in order to get processed into actions. But again, it still requires some level of input as to what processing of what tasks need to be performed. So in effect, this CPU can combine all of your other remotes into one single interface and only list the options we need to use. But at the end of the day, is this really making our lives simpler? You could say that the CPU is just a fancy universal remote control. But what if, instead of just control, we added automation? Now instead of a dumb device, we have an intelligent system that lets us combine multiple tasks into a simple automation action. Let's take an example of an automated process. I get home from work at 6pm, walk into the living room and switch the light on. The switch starts an automated process. It brings the room to the desired temperature, switches on the TV, turns over to the movie channel, turns on my surround sound system, adjusts the volume and dims the lights, as well as closing the blinds. And that is the benefit of automation. Everything works together at the single press of a button. Or does it? What if we didn't have to press the switch in the first place? What if the automated process was set to the specific time I got home from work? Now that is simplicity. Automation greatly decreases the need for human intervention, sensory and mental requirements while increasing load capacity, speed and repeatability. I hope this has given you a good overview of what automation is and does. Thanks for watching.